Welcome, my beautiful patrons. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this week's Pick a Card Tarot reading. Now, as you noticed last week, I wasn't able to do the weekly reading. I was out of town due to a bit of an emergency that I had to take care of. Um, so for this week, I wanted to do something a bit special. Instead of a weekly, you know, what's coming next for the week, um, I'm going to do a what blessings are coming towards you. All right, so this is a, a pretty popular pick a card. Uh, that I was going to do on the YouTube channel, but you know, I'm going to do it exclusively for you guys. Um, just thank you for being a part of the community. Um, the raffle is going to be announced towards the 31st, so you know, one of you lucky patrons is going to get a free private reading. I will announce it on the 31st. Thank you once again, and let's go ahead and get started. So, we have three groups group number one, group number two, and group number three. Go ahead and take a moment to select your group, to select the door that you want to go through. As a matter of fact, let's get a let's get a, a close-up. So this is door number one. Okay. This is door number two. And this is door number three. So take a moment. I am going to include the timestamps in the description below for you seekers. Welcome, group number one. Welcome, welcome. All right. So you pick this glorious door that has a sun um, and. Um, you know, there's definitely some dancing going on here. So beautiful, beautiful selection. Let's take a look at the door. Let's take a look. Let's take a peek. Yes, is the message. Kiss the ground and touch the sky. Your soul is set now to leap and fly. Wow. All right. I like that message. So let's see what's behind this door or with this Oracle card. Open to love, relationships, passion, fulfillment. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Group. Number one, the key words that are going to be essentially very important when we're talking about the blessings that are coming are relationships, passion, and fulfillment. This is huge, okay? Um, so just, you know, right off the bat, we've got here a combination of cards that's essentially telling you that if you are single and you're looking for a relationship, if you're waiting for your soulmate, uh, potentially if you want to get married, uh, you know, this is going to be coming towards you. These are blessings that are, are presenting themselves to you, you know, and um, the fact that we've got passion here as well, you know, for those of you that already are in a relationship, passion is going to start coming back into that relationship. Um, and then we have fulfillment. So that's just kind of talking about career. It's talking about um, your projects, you know, maybe if you have any entrepreneurship projects, um, you are going to start feeling fulfilled. This is beautiful. This is this is truly, truly beautiful keywords. Um, now, there is a bit of a message here for you to maybe start um, following or maybe adapt, and that's open to love and yes. Um, so perhaps be more accepting of the opportunities that are going to be presenting themselves to you. Um, just have a, a more sunny disposition. Again, you know, you did pick the, the door uh, where the sun was right in the middle so be more positive about things more 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 excited about opportunities say yes more as opposed to saying no right um so my goodness your soul is set now to leap and fly is the message of that door right behind that door right and um, when you when you merge that with passion when you merge that with fulfillment i mean you've got the recipe for just so much so we're gonna try and um see exactly where these blessings are coming from, you know, what, what it's going to look like. We're going to use the tarot for that. All right, we are going to use the tarot for that. We're going to use the, the star tarot. As your seekers know, it's my favorite tarot deck, so we're going to use it. Let's see what we get. What is coming? What blessings are coming for group number one? Spirit, give us a little help here. What blessings are coming? What are those blessings? What are those blessings? Wow, all right. So, um, 
group number one there is definitely a lot of, of shadows here a lot of darkness that you've had to overcome you know virtually almost every single card is reversed with the exception of the five of pentacles and the five of pentacles is a card that you want to get reversed <laughs> you know you don't want to get that card upright uh so let's go ahead and take it step by step so the first card out was the four of cups reversed you know and, and that card just kind of talks about boredom you know just boredom boredom with life uh nihilistic in some ways feeling unbalanced it could also be talking about some depression, feeling upset, feeling lonely, feeling down, you know. So the fact that this is showing up in a, in a what's coming towards you as far as blessings reading and the fact that we have here relationships, passion and fulfillment, it tells me that a new, more exciting period is coming for you. You know, things are going to start shifting for you and, and it, you're going to be happy. You're going to feel happy. And, and um, you know, Four of Cups is not really the card of happiness. It's the card of just, you know, boredom. So that boredom is going to be um, eradicated. It's, it's going to be no more. So fun is really what, what we have here with this Four of Cups, right? Fun. And the thing is that you have not been having that at all. It's like you've been in, in, in this period of just like, you know, incredible boredom really that's really the word i'm trying to find another word for it but i think boredom really just sums it up you've been bored for for quite some time now we have another card here that might give a little information on maybe why you've had this kind of boredom why you've had this kind of sadness um and it's, it comes in the form of a person right with this king of swords here and so what this king of swords represents is past pain with people like there's definitely uh maybe a father figure maybe a past boyfriend or past relationship that really just you know this person was very hard on you told you some very nasty things made you believe some very horrible things and so maybe you you've been healing from the from people like that um so for some reason this person is kind of showing up in this reading again um and they're showing up as as a, as a blessing so it's almost like if the people that potentially are right now currently doing you harm will be no more like they will be removed from your life you know this could be people that you don't really know about people who um are just very good at disguising their purpose and so what they do is they go behind your back and they just stab you right um you don't even realize that they're stabbing you you don't realize that uh you know anything that you tell them they go and they tell someone else or they go and they just essentially try and ruin your plans um, again, you know, I'm getting a male energy here, King of Swords. Um, this, again, could be a past relationship. It could be a current relationship with someone that potentially you don't know. It could be a boss. Um, again, take what resonates, leave the rest. Uh, but I do feel that there is an energy that will be removed from you. All right, so now the next card that came out was the Five of Pentacles. And this is interesting, you know, the Five of Pentacles, as you Seekers probably know, is the card of just famine, right? It's the card of, of, of having to go through a, a very rough patch, a very rough period, right? You have here, um, in this illustration, a man uh, with uh, a wolf, which would be a symbolism of their, his spirit guide. So, you know, essentially this young person is alone, right? Alone walking through this desolate place. It's rough terrain. There's no food, it's scarce, it's terrible. So, you know, this is essentially how it translates into the here and now. It's a lack of money to fund your projects, fund your campaign. So some of you have been lacking money. You've been lacking resources. And this is an area that's going to start shifting for you. This is an area that you're going to start seeing fulfillment, right? We go back to that key word here, open to love, relationships, passion, fulfillment. So that fulfillment can be in career, could be with a new job, could be with some kind of in influx of money that's going to present itself to you that you're going to be able to maybe reinvest, invest into a, an appreciating asset that will give you uh, something that you can essentially, you know, uh, invest even more and just expand, right? And fund your projects. Maybe some of you have artistic um, desires that you would like to be, that you would like fulfilled. And unfortunately, you know, you have not had the uh, the money or the resources to do that, right? And and one 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 very important thing is time, right? Time is a big resource. So potentially for some of you, maybe you've just been in a, in a dead end job that's just been really sucking you dry, right? And so it's terrible. 
for some of you, I see. And I feel like maybe that's what the King of Swords maybe represents, an oppressive kind of boss or an oppressive kind of societal... You know, the King of Swords can also be looked at as uh, a societal card, right? The King of Swords is someone who upholds the laws of society. And so the fact that it's reversed maybe tells me that you are in some kind of job potentially that might be very crippling. You know, it, it's whenever you clock in, you are a part of a totalitarian regime. Any job you have, as soon as you clock in, your freedom is gone, right? You belong to someone else. That is the hard truth, right? So the King of Swords can represent that, maybe that oppressive energy of you just having to go to this place and feeling like, you know, someone is just beating you down. Um, so I see that shifting, changing, resources coming to you that uh, you're going to be able to use and apply towards something else. So that's, uh, that's definitely very inviting. Now, the Four of Swords Reverse talks about stress and anxiety, all right? Four of Swords talks about stress and anxiety. As you can see here with the with this card, um, you've got a Native American lying down on top of a salmon. Now, a salmon is the in Druid tradition, it's the oldest of all animals. It's the first animal, essentially. So the fact that it's the first means that it's filled with wisdom and knowledge and understanding. So the fact that this card is reversed tells me that maybe there's been confusion in your life, fears and anxieties that have led you towards, uh, you know, just bad energies or have led you towards bad decision making. So the fact that this card is reversed tells me that your mind is going to be put to rest. You're going to be able to just see clearly and you're going to be able to understand why things are happening and you're going to be able to react in, uh, in, in, in the right way. Because sometimes, you know, when we have uh, fears and anxieties, we, we end up being reactionary towards things and we don't really truly make good decisions for ourselves. So good decision making, and this is going to come from potentially that relationship and um, obviously the fulfillment in your career. I, I feel like everything is just so interconnected here. You know, it's like one, it, one area is gonna get fixed and then once that area gets fixed, it's gonna be like a domino effect, right? Everything else will follow. Um, so, you know, ideally there is a lot of internal, just mental anguish here that will be corrected. And as soon as that's corrected, Again, domino effect. Things are just going to start happening for you. And so one of the things that you're going to experience early on, as soon as, you know, that thing that you've been really been wanting and desiring, as soon as you get it, you're going to tap into the energy of the Knight of Wands. And so the Knight of Wands reversed um, is someone who's depleted of energy, uninspired, uh, just unmotivated, uh, someone who just can't get out of their own way. Well, now you're going to be able to make a way. All right, you're not going to, uh, you know, be getting in your own way. You're not going to feel like, you know, you're you can't do anything, or you're not going to feel like a failure or a loser. You are going to feel like you are capable of anything. You can move forward. You can be prosperous, right? And so that revelation is going to ignite a fire in you, and that fire, you know, once it's ignited, it will burn through a lot of darkness. It will burn through a lot of negative energy. And, um, you know, it'll lead you towards an understanding. And so that understanding brings us to the hero font. And that's very important. Because the hero font is the card of um, essentially spirit and the mundane kind of coming together and forming some kind of structure, right? So what you have here is the forming of a new uh, reality, the, the understanding of it, the, the knowing that if you keep down this path, you're going to be able to just keep creating to the point where you're going to be able to help other people, extend the knowledge uh, that you've learned uh, based on all of these negative things, you know, this depression, this anxiety. And so that hero font is just showing up to pretty much let you know that you are in some ways going to be a teacher. You know, you're going to be able to help other people. You're going to be able to illuminate other people and help them come out of the, the, the darkness that you've unfortunately have gone through, right? And, you know, it, it's definitely very difficult. Um, I do feel with so many cards here, uh, negative and, and reversed, and, you know, you, you've definitely been through some darkness, right? So you are, this is, this is something that 
you know, it needs to come and it needs to come quick for you because it's almost like there's an, this unbalance, right, with you. Um, you. You've just seen so many bad things that it's time for the blessings to take hold. It's time for this period to come, right? It, it's very much needed and it, and it will. It will. That's beautiful. All right. So that is what I see here. Group number one. I want to thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you for being a part of the community once again. Let me know what you thought about this video. Um, you know, I've been thinking of potentially doing more of, of, of videos like these, uh, but I want to hear your ideas if you liked it, um, or if you would like to, or you, you, if you would prefer just the, the weekly readings. Um, so, you know, whatever you like, I'll be more than happy to oblige. So thank you, group number one. Love you guys. Thank you for your support. Bye-bye. Welcome group number two. Welcome, welcome to what blessings are coming towards you reading. So you picked a, a pretty nice door. It's uh, kind of rustic looking, which I love. Um, so very beautiful, very, very beautiful selection. Let's take a peek behind this door, shall we? Morning memory. Its healing gift runs a destined course. The morning dawn are inspired source. All right, beautiful. And then what we have behind this card, which is um, the, the Ancestor card, is Back to Basics. Let's take a look at this. Simplify, Reduce, Center. This is beautiful. All right. Um, so, group number two, your life has become a bit um, complicated. Right? It's become complicated. Um, this can be in your your just your general life, you know, the the people around you. Um, maybe you feel like potentially there's a lack of direction, but there's definitely an energy here of feeling a bit lost, not truly understanding where you're gonna go next. Uh, maybe some fears of essentially what's coming, and um, what these two cards are talking about is healing from that and and in some ways just trusting life a little more and um, that's gonna look it's gonna look like you are going to find a way forward you know you're going to reduce this energy of chaos that's, that's looming right now um, you're going to be able to find uh, the reason for your existence you're going to be able to see further ahead and you're going to be able to start making decisions that are actually going to impact your life in a very positive way. And it's going to come through a very simplified approach. Your, your life is going to become a bit more simple. And um, there is going to be a reduction in areas that have just become too wild, too complicated, right? Think of a forest fire that no one can put it out. I feel like maybe in some areas of your life, Things have gotten that wild potentially, so you're going to have this uh, this blessing of just being able to walk away from that, right? Having that taken care of and not having to completely worry or be enveloped by it, and that's going to just free you up for other projects and other things. Interesting. So let's go ahead and throw some tarot. As you seekers know, I love the star tarot, so that's the the deck that we're going to be using here. Let's take a look and see what we get. What blessings are coming to group number two spirit? Help us out here. What blessings? Blessings, blessings, blessings. All right. All right, all right, all right. So, okay. So, we've got here... Um, We've got some nice cards. The first card out is the Empress, and this is one of my favorite cards. This is one of my birth cards, um, so I, I love the Empress energy. This is gorgeous. This is beautiful, right? The fact that you've got it in your reading. So what this card is telling you is that you are going to, one, one of the blessings that's going to be uh, afforded to you is the ability for you to find a place in this world, and that place is going to be a place that will yield incredible fruit. You know, this could be a career, this could be a relationship, uh, this could just be 
um, your life, you're just your life in general, you're going to be able to find a place, uh, a path forward where you're going to be able to sit down, relax, and things will just start yielding fruit around you, grow, there's going to be life, there's going to be prosperity. And the fact that you've got here a star, as you can see here, the star right above the head of the Empress, tells me that you're going to be guided towards this. You're going to be sh shown the way. And um, you've been needing that because I feel, you know, the fact that you've got it reversed tells me that you have not been previewed to, to a lot of success. You haven't really had um, anything to write home about. You haven't had a lot of victories, uh, per se. And so it's important for you in, just to kind of feel motivated or encouraged and to keep moving forward. You are you need some victories, right? And, and I feel like maybe for some of you, life has just gotten so challenging. And so I would say in some ways, very just pervasive or just, you know, in some ways it just feels like you are fighting against something that's almost unwinnable. It's like you can't win that fight. And so you need a load to be taken off of you. And I feel like maybe you're someone who puts a lot of responsibilities on yourself. You know, maybe you put other people's problems ahead of yours. You, there's just so many loads that you have to that you have to carry. And so that impacts your life negatively. You know, it's like a lot of people are around you potentially, and they are in some ways um, taking from you, taking from your resources. And so that is potentially something that will end. The reason I say that there might be people around you uh, taking resources from you is because you've got the Knight of Pentacles reversed here. So there is like, you know, there, there, there might be some young people, uh, maybe a young boy, uh, young, just young, youthful energy around you that maybe you're dedicating a lot of attention to um, or things just aren't working out with them or, you know, and again, take what resonates, leave the rest, but that could be an interpretation of the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, we can also look at that Knight of Pentacles and say that, uh, unfortunately, you haven't you haven't been making very good investments of your time, your your money, your finances, and so unfortunately things just have not worked out right financially in some areas, as they should right. Maybe you expected a lot more, you didn't get it, and now like there's this uh, lingering kind of disappointment, um, and it's led you towards a disbalance right. You've got the two of pentacles here reverse which is the card of financial blessings and and just not really financial blessings but balance financially right it's like um being able to balance everything that you want to do invest in the proper areas or the proper avenues to have some kind of success uh to yield incredible fruit just like the the empress card the empress um energy does and um feel happy feel fulfilled and so i feel like not having that has in many ways led you to the Nine of Swords at times, where you kind of feel disconnected from spirit, you feel disconnected from the world, you feel alone, you feel like no one's there for you, um, and so you've had to suffer and cry alone a lot. And it's been very challenging, you know, mentally, it's something that um, is in many ways very draining, and so it's left you feeling very depleted and maybe even, you know, very unhappy, right? Um, you haven't had a lot. You haven't had a lot of reasons to be happy. That's why you've got the Nine of Cups here, and so the Nine of Cups is the card of the the woman who is just so happy with her 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 accomplishments, so happy with what life has given her, that she takes that the, these cups and she puts them up on her wall as a symbol, so that anyone that comes into her home, they can see this is what I'm mostly happy about, right? So it's like, you haven't had a lot of those cups show, show up to you. you. You just, you don't have a lot of memories and a lot of good things to put up on the wall, but you are going to start having these things. These things are going to start coming to you. And um, it's going to, in many ways, ignite a very strong passion within you to want to keep exploring to want to keep doing, to possibly manifest other things in your life. Um, and that's why you've got the Ace of Wands here. This is a very important, beautiful card. The Ace of Wands is the card of dynamic energy, moving forward, new beginnings, understanding something. Um, and also it's the card of manifestation, right? New projects come into, into, into existence. It's a new kind of... Um, it's a new kind of expansive kind of energy in your life. 
And um, this energy is what's going to in some ways lead towards other blessings and just other doors opening up, you know. So we go right back to the to the actual theme of this reading, right? We've got simplify, we've got reduce, and we've got center, and we've got back to basics. So in many ways, I feel that things are going to be taken away, right? Things that aren't serving you, things that aren't helping you in any way, things that are really just depleting you, taking away from you, they will be removed from you. So we look, you know, the things that I'm seeing here that potentially should be removed, Number one, the Knight of Pentacles. So these are people, young people that are essentially trying to take from you, right? Not trying to help you in any way. Um, in, in some ways, they might even be sabotaging you, right? They know your disease. They know uh, what you can say no to and is not very good for you. So they tempt you with that thing. So potentially, you're going to see these people being removed from your life. Um, things are going to be very clear. As you can see here, you know, this person um, is in some ways getting away from this tribe of people right they still following right still kind of in the, in the in the area but compared to the bundled up group over there this hunter is kind of alone you know this hunter has distanced themselves and um the fact that we are seeing this as a simplifying and a reducing and a back to basics we can kind of interpret from this illustration that it's a necessity for them to be removed from the group for a while so that this hunter can actually start hunting and, and obtaining what uh, has been promised and what spirit is going to show you. Because with that star energy and that empress energy, a path will be laid out for you to follow. And so you are going to be tasked with picking up on the signs that are presented to you and following through on those signs. So if you feel something very intuitively, it's like, yes, that's for me. You need to follow through on that. You need to do that thing. Um, you can't just you know stay dormant right so the, the ace of wands can potentially be giving you a little bit of insight a little bit of uh, of, of an eye-opening um, kind of experience here right where you're being told hey be very 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 aware try and just find the signs look for the signs they will be there follow them you'll know intuitively you'll feel that little itch and you'll know that's what I have to do that's what I have to essentially follow. So be aware. Be aware. All right. So group number two, that's what I see here. Beautiful reading. Um, I love the these blessings that are coming towards you. Truly wonderful. I want to thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget the raffle for the free private reading is going to be on the 31st. Um, so look, looking forward to that. Um, good luck. You know. Good luck to you. Uh, let me know what you thought about this reading, if you liked it, um, or if you would have just preferred the, the weekly readings, right? Um, but let me know. Let me know if you like this reading and if you'd like to see maybe more more of more like these. Um, if you have any ideas, right, for any pick eight cards, let me know, right? Instead of doing the weeklies, I can go ahead and um, and do the, the, the ideas that you seekers present to me, right? I'll make a queue for patrons, exclusive patrons only. That's a that's something that I can definitely do for you for you for you seekers. So thank you for watching. Bye bye. Welcome group number two to your what blessings are coming towards me reading. I hope you enjoy it. So you picked a very nice door. I like this. It's like a not really a door, but kind of like a passageway. I, I really like this. Look at this. Made of stone. Beautiful. So let's see what's behind it. Passages, spiritual signs of inclination. You're walking through passages of your transformation. Oof. Oof. I like that. All right. Let's take a look behind this oracle card. This is from the Ancestors Oracle deck. We've got explore your creative side, visualize, paint, record. Oof. This is interesting. We're definitely going to need to throw some tarot to really just get um, the full, full full scope of this reading. But man, these cards are speaking towards your um, your your entrepreneurship projects. You know, the things that you're going to manifest and create. You know, your creations. We all, I feel, are master creators. This is 
you know, even if you are potentially planning to, to join some kind of company or corporation, there is a master work that you're going to take part in. And so potentially for some of you, you know, you haven't had the opportunity to participate or you just don't know how you're going to show your art, right? You just, you really don't know. Um, the fact that you've got uh, the keyword here, record, could very well be talking about some kind of maybe artistic pursuit that involves your voice, it involves talking to people, it involves communicating, right? The, the, that is a form of artwork. Maybe there's some, you know, some kind of singer out there, right? That's planning on writing something, some beautiful lyrics, right? You want people to, to listen to this. You want people to just be in all of your beautiful voice, right? So there is, this is the group of the artist. And I feel like, unfortunately, you just haven't had uh, the doors open to you where you can say, okay, I want to give myself fully towards this art pursuit, right? I am an artistic person. This is what makes me completely happy. Um, this is what I want to do. But you haven't had the opportunity to actually give yourself fully to that pursuit. Then it's maybe challenging. Potentially, it's, you know, left you feeling depleted. Uh, but man, you know, these two cards are just talking about transformation from the mundane uh energy that you are currently going through so this is beautiful and you're working you're, you're you're working through it. you're walking towards this that's essentially what the message here is all right so we're gonna go ahead and throw some tarot as you seekers know i love the star tarot it's my favorite deck you know another thing that i'm seeing here with this uh with this oracle card is the fact that um you know, in, in some ways, you you have a lot of talent in some area. Okay? You are a talented individual, and you don't know it. You really don't know. It's like it's hidden. Maybe there's a feeling. Maybe there is a knowing. It's like if I only actually did this, I can potentially be successful. I can potentially be, um, you know, gain attention or, or feel complete. But but you don't really truly know just how gifted you are. And so that's going to come into the forefront for you. You know, that's going to be exposed. You are going to, in many ways, be shown just how great you truly are at something that you really don't know at this moment. So, interesting. That's one thing that just came to me right when I was shuffling. So I wanted to say it before I threw out the cards. But now we are going to try and get a more direct message from the tarot. What blessings are coming to you, group three? What are these blessings? Blessing, 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 blessings. What are they? What are they? All right. Hmm. Man. All right. So the first card out was the money card, the two of pentacles, right? The fact that it's the two of pentacles, you know, this is the card of balance in, in, in that area. Balance in your finances is something that's been missing. So I feel that one of, one of the reasons why you haven't been able to explore your artistic talent and actually, you know, be able to do that or bring that great piece of work into this world is because you've had some money challenges or money troubles, you know, or maybe you're just, you've just had to, you know, be a value to you know to to get that paycheck to get that money to get get things done right maybe potentially you know if you're a student um or you're just someone who's, who's still kind of learning and gaining skills you know you've definitely bought into that societal truth that says you have to work hard you have to uh study you have to maybe go to school right? you got to be realistic here right so maybe some of you have bought into that um it's something that you're pursuing and doing and um, you've got, you've just, you've kind of just shut your artist, your the artist that's inside of you, you've locked them away in a room, and you've thrown away the key. All right, and it's because of uh, number one, and the biggest, most pressing issue is finances. You've had to provide, you have to work, you have to be responsible. Right, that's kind of this uh, reality that's definitely showing up here and then so what that kind of has led to is this five of wands energy which is a woman who is holding on to what she ho really cares about what she holds most dear and um it's the most beautiful part of her and unfortunately it might be burned away if she doesn't hold them that way 
because you've got a volcano erupting in the background. And so this can really be talking about society and how you are operating in society today where you are in some ways just trying to do the best to stay afloat, to, to, to remain ahead, right? To, to stay in some ways um, profitable or to in some ways stay respect, you know, respected by your, by your peers. You know, you, there's definitely a fear here, right? That's, that's what this boils down to. There's a fear of letting go. There's a fear of being free, you know? Um, and so it just, it feels like the, the fact that you are in some ways very artistic and you're not really doing that or you're not given the opportunity to do that, it's um, in some ways leaving you somewhat um, feeling unfruitful, right? And um, happiness has been removed from you. It's like you don't feel complete, you don't feel completely happy. And I see that with the Three of Cups, right? You've got here celebrations, you've got happiness. The fact that it's showing up tells me that maybe there's a lack of that, but that happiness is going to start coming back to you. The, the moment that you're going to be essentially, all right, so actually, I'm sorry, I kind of went off went off track here. What I was gonna tell you was that when it comes to money, when it comes to actual money, you're going to be given that money. There will be balance in your life as far as finances. That is one of the blessings that is coming to you. All right, and so with that blessing, with that money that is coming into your life, you're going to in some ways be able to fulfill that need or that fear of, okay, I, I can't just give in to my desires to create something, right? To, to use my voice for something because I, I have to be responsible and I need some kind of funding. So potentially there is gonna be funding coming to you. The opportunity is going to present itself to you. Um, there, there are going to be signs that are going to be shown to you, spiritual signs. I think that your spirit guides are going to lead you to the well. They're going to lead you to the water, but it's up to you to drink from that water. So be very careful, be very diligent with the signs that are presented to you. There's going to be a lot of spiritual signs from your spiritual team. Follow them. and Essentially, they're going to lead you through that passage. They're going to lead you through the passage of your transformation. It's your job to follow it. It's your job to see that passage. It's your job to, in some ways, go through it uh, and just make it happen. You know, I, I feel like with um, the hermit reversed, you know, there's it, it, it solidifies the fact that you've been led astray. All right. I feel like maybe potentially you are this hermit who... You know, you're wise, you're, you have this desire and this knowledge and this wisdom and, and in deep inside of you, you know what you want, but you've been kind of led astray. It could be by society. You know, I, I, I just, for some reason, I just keep seeing society just kind of holding you down um, or, or an idea, right? And um, I feel like you're going to gain wisdom and knowledge. This is why the hermit is showing up. You're going to gain new wisdom, new knowledge, new understanding of life and things are gonna shift for you. And so you're gonna be able to find that key that you threw away. You're going to be able to unlock the gate to that artist inside of you. And um, in many ways, you're going to be able to just, you know, start creating, right? And so one of the key words here is visualize. And, and potentially visualize could be talking about what spirit would like for you, right? To maybe start visualizing that artwork you know, maybe this reading has ignited something in you, potentially giving you something to think about. And so now that the, the seed has been planted of you're an artist, well, now there's going to start, now, you, now your mind is going to start working, right? You're going to start seeing certain things, maybe little flashes of genius. Follow through on that, visualize that, develop the idea, develop the images, okay, that, that, are, that are going to present themselves to you. Um, because it's like, you know, spirit is talking to you. Spirit is trying to give you a little bit of a download and show you what things can look like. Show you what your great work might very well be. And so follow through on it. Don't allow any thought or any image to leave you. Write it down. Journal it. And um, you're going to be surprised maybe after, you know, some time of you journaling and writing what you see, how it all just kind of comes together, right? how it's going to just be such such a beautiful presentation of what you really truly want. And so, you know, we've got the hero font here. I like the hero font. 
Hierophant is the the shaman here of the of the group. And so the shaman, in many ways, together with the hermit, is talking about a teacher. It's talking about someone who has the knowledge to be able to show and to be able to teach potentially the next generation. And so there's definitely something inside of you that wants to come out, right? This artistic voice of yours, we're gonna call it voice. I feel like maybe it has to do with the with your voice, recording your voice, you know, talking to people. It could very well be that you're helping people through a certain situation, which is why you've got the hermit. You know, essentially the hermit, as you can see this illustration, it's uh, a wise person just kind of walking through the different dark areas of life and just uh, shining a light towards those that darkness. You know, the, the hero font is in many ways receiving illumination from spirit, as you can see, you know, in his crown, he's receiving that illumination and he's able to just uh, take that divine presence and, and that divine spirit and turn it into this kind of mundane uh, structure, right? So in many ways, it could be talking about you taking knowledge from spirit, knowledge from your spirit guides or your spirit team and uh, creating something out of it, a structure out of it, you know, uh, creating a process out of it. Um, so, you know, you are one of, one of the blessings that's also going to present itself to you, that's going to come to you is the strength card. And so I feel that right now with you, there's a lot of fear. All right. There's, there's a lot of fear. Uh, you're fearful um, for some reason. Maybe you haven't examined this fear and you haven't kind of looked at it uh, directly in the face because you have been in many ways told that the way to function in society is by doing a certain something, right? Uh, you know, you just, you got to do this and then you got to do that and you got to do this and you got to do that and then you retire and you're, you're happy. But I feel that you are destined for far greater things. And so it is going to, in, in, in many ways, require an incredible amount of bravery and courage from you. And so that is something that you are going to come into, you know, you're going to feel that you're going to, in some ways, resonate with that. Um, with this strength card, right? You have this woman who's not fearful at all. She's walking through a dark forest. She's holding this snake by the head. Um, that snake is chaos. That snake is the bills do. That snake is society telling you, you got to pay the rent on the first, right? And so she's got that snake by the head. She's got to control. She's not going to let that snake overcome her. And so she knows she's going to step into this forest. She's nothing's going to get in her way. She, we've got the representation of that power uh, by, with this lion, right? No one is going to mess with her. And so I feel like that's what you're kind of stepping into. That's the revelation that's going to be shown to you, just how powerful you are. And I feel that the first thing that's going to happen is financial liberation. Right. Once, once you once you know that your bills are going to be able to be paid for and you, you're going to be able to actually essentially move forward and, and have some free time, um, more things are going to start coming to you. Again, the download, right? The hero font, that download, more understanding, more wisdom, uh, incredible courage and strength and, and the desire to actually do things, right? And uh, don't forget the guiding messages. Visualize what you want. Um, start really writing it down. The fact that you've got paint here can also be talking about, you know, what I said, journaling, writing down your ideas, uh, because there is definitely a very beautiful creative side to you that wants to come out and explore and play. And this is all tied to your purpose. So very important. All right. That is what I see here. Group number three. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Um, thank you for being uh, a patron. Thank you so much. Um, the winner for July's free private reading with me again, will be announced on the 31st. Uh, so I will make you seekers aware of who won. Uh, good luck if you pick this group, good luck. Thank you once again. Love you, bye-bye.